Hi guys! So we're back with the final step. This should be part four. Um, and this is just going to be the final stages of all the prep that we've done. So I've been walking around for about two hours now. My hair is finally air dried. Um, it wasn't really wet. It just had some, like I said, the wrap lotion that I had showed you guys about before in it. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take the wrap off and go ahead and comb the hair down. You can see that this time we're going to have to do some um, touching up. We've got some long pieces and stuff that we're going to need to go ahead and uh, get rid of and cut. Like I said, I've never done my hair on this side before, so this is kind of a, a, a learning process for me too since it's the first time. But yeah, so looks pretty good. I think this side is going to need some cutting. You guys can see we're going to have to cut here so just comb all that wrap and lotion out um, usually I do my hair before I go to sleep I put the I put the um, the tracks in between my hair before I go to sleep because I don't like to sit around and wait for my hair to air dry but because I didn't really have anything going on I just went ahead and did that and so I can record this video for y'all today and show you how I was doing it during the day um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and touch these things up. We're just going to grab our razor and go ahead and just cut over here. Um, just using your ear kind of as a measure for where you want it to be. Um, my hair is growing. And like I told you guys earlier, I'm growing my hair out, so I'm not going to be cutting my hair. I'm trying to cut just track. So I'm going to cut that. And after we cut this final time and go ahead and bump bump it, we're going to be actually, um, we're going to wrap it one more time. So, yeah. I don't have my shears. I'm just going to cut this right here over right here. I like that. Right there. Okay. Can you see that? pretty good. Um, bump it and see if we have any more to do. Um, there's a little bit of length in the back that we need to go ahead and try to cut off here. This is in there. Just put a little bump in it and then wrap it that final time. It's not like um, 
oil sheen which can be heavy and weigh your hair down it's really really light so your hair still has like some movement and stuff like that to it so i love it and it's actually really good on the weave too <laughs> just gives it a nice little texture so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bump and then we might have to touch up the cut one more time so let's see what we got and um i'm not gonna do like a, a perfect or anything like that I'm just gonna go ahead and start from up here and curl and I might need to just run some more layers in it um curler that I use is just from Walmart and it's an infinity con here and I believe this is a one inch maybe a one and a quarter but yeah so let me use that and time I really put any heat on my hair with this style like that's why I like to put the tracks all the way around because once you've done that like you can just um wrap your hair and then just comb it down and it'll look awesome so unless I like go to the gym and sweat it out then I might have to um, bump it or if I'm going out just to add a little bit of extra flair to it but like I said I like to wear my hair like really soft and like not curled a lot kind of flat almost but it has body because it has the layers so it still you know looks good but that's usually what I like to do and the back is usually the only part that really needs the the bumping but I don't do a lot because like I said the all the way around with the tracks really helps to um, eliminate having to do so much care and maintenance as far as the um bumping and curling and things of that nature so so you guys can pretty much style it however you want to but I just want to show you the basic concept for um, applying the tracks and cutting the tracks and it's really simple like I said with that um, eyebrow razor that I showed you guys they have like its own little guards on there now just be careful if it's a fresh pack of razors because it has a tendency to cut a little bit more than you like so maybe use it a little bit <laughs> or try to um, scrape it up against some metal just to take some of that sharpness out of it because it cuts like really good like a knife <laughs>
I want to give it the opportunity to kind of do what it needs to do naturally. So I'm actually going to go ahead and um, wrap this one more time and then come back. 